Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Eric B. Horn here, and I wanted to record this quick video for anyone that's specifically a manager that has a high turnover rate. In this day and age, we always think that just because someone quit their job, it was usually on the employee's fault. That may be true, however, there are situations where the manager isn't doing his or her due diligence to make sure that their employees are in the best position. So actually, I just left the client and we went through 10 things that he's going to work on so he can start to minimize his turnover rate. But I'm gonna share with you guys three of those 10. The first one is, initially in the interview process, the job wasn't presented the way that it should have been. What do I mean by that? The job description takes a lot of time, time that the manager doesn't already have, so they have to put something have to put something together extremely fast, but that job description can be misleading. Because when you're in the process of bringing somebody else on, you need to be very thorough with the overall job description, and then in the actual interview process, set the tone on what's to be expected. The more honest you are and the more transparent you are, it will be a lot easier when the employer is, excuse me, when the employee is, is onboarded. A lot of times people feel like they've been baited and switched, meaning they said they're going to do X, Y, and Z in the job, and then it turns out to be something totally different. That confuses the employee, and confusion always leads to some sort of mistrust. And if you don't have any type of trust with your actual employees, that's going to create a virus, and that virus will definitely reduce your overall productivity. And be very transparent and very thorough when it comes to the overall job description. If it's going to be a lot of long hours, be open and honest. Once that person gets onboarded, they can never say that this wasn't expected of me or this wasn't talked about in the actual interview process. Number two, little to no coaching or feedback. Employees, they want to get better. They want to know what they need to improve on immediately, not doing the annual review. Because a lot of times doing an annual review, a manager or someone higher up has a list of things that they need to work on, but it happened three to four to five months ago. And actually that's a little bit unfair to the employee. If they did something wrong or something that they need to be improved on, you need to tell him or her right then and there so they know what they need to do in the future. You want to have a team that's always improving and moving in the right direction. You need to carve out some time either every week or bi-weekly to sit with each and every one of your employees and to, uh, to talk about what they've done, what they need to improve on, and things of that nature. This tactic is called one-on-ones. Most managers don't do them, but you need to do them, even if it's a 10-minute one-on-one. You are taking individual time out with all of your employees to make sure that they are moving in the right direction. So if there's any manager that's looking at this video and say that they don't have the time, start with having 10-minute one-on-ones with your employee. The, the last reason why the majority of people leave is no growth opportunities. You know, people want to advance. That's why they work so hard. That's why they put forth the time, the effort, and the energy to master the, their craft. Well, most ambitious people do not want to stay in the same position for the next five to six years. But the individuals that are motivated and they want to advance, these are the individuals on another opportunity. If you are not giving them those growth opportunities, they will leave. That means you, you, your, your best talent or your best team will move on to another company because you are not presenting those overall growth opportunities. You need to create a growth plan, both internally and externally, of your employee. Most employees, if they know that their manager is, they, they, they care for their manager, they care for their well-being, they care for their overall advancement, they're gonna stay. If you see someone who's talented, you wanna make sure that you are creating a path for them to replace you as the manager. So if you are a manager and you are dealing with, with turnover and you're watching this video, please comment below on some of the things that you've done in the past that may or it may haven't worked, or if you had any concerns based off of applying these three tips to your overall team.